Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today you're gonna see a day in my life, quarantine edition. Um, as everybody knows, uh, coronavirus has put everybody into a lot of difficult situations. Um, so I'm trying to keep myself entertained and keep high spirits by making these videos. Um, so in this video you'll see what I do in a day of self-quarantining. Yeah. Go into the video. <laughs> Have fun. I start off the day by waking up and getting out of bed bright and early, around noon, and make my way downstairs. It's freezing in my house because my dad is a psychopath that prefers the tundra, so I usually pull a blanket or sweatshirt with me. After I've almost frozen my butt off, I make it to the downstairs bathroom that I claimed as my own. As you can see, I'm not much of a morning person, so I'm pretty much a walking corpse for the first hour that I'm awake. Look at me, I literally look dead. Um, I start off my morning routine with my inhaler. Shout out to my asthma peeps out there. Having asthma does make you more susceptible to the virus, so I've been extra careful to take precautions like getting a humidifier and such. Um, after I take my two puffs, I immediately brush my teeth, because, I don't know, that's what the doctor told me to do. I don't know about anybody else, but I hate brushing my teeth. I seriously hate it so much. Just, I don't know why, it just really annoys me. But, you know, society tells you you have to have clean teeth, so you gotta do what you gotta do. After that, I use my men's deodorant, Old Spice Swagger, because guess what? Men's deodorant is better. It's just a fact, ladies. Go get you some men's deodorant. Next up, I pull out my hairbrush to start brushing my hair. Um, and I don't really care that it's going to turn out extremely ratty and frizzy because guess what, folks? I will not be going anywhere. I will not be seeing anyone but my family, so it literally does not matter. Of course, I will also not be putting on any makeup because also that would be pointless. I finish up by popping a non-drowsy Claritin to combat my seasonal allergies that trigger my asthma. <laughs> so, that's fun. Then of course, I change from my nighttime pajamas into my daytime pajamas because guess what guys, I'm classy. And I take my appearance very seriously. Now by this point, it's probably close to 1 p.m., which of course means it's time for breakfast, which is my favorite meal of the day because cereal is an elite food, and if you disagree, you're wrong. This morning, I had a cold glass of water with a big old bowl of Cocoa Puffs, which was so delicious I poured too much and almost spilled, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. I love cereal so much, I would die for cereal probably. That's how much I love cereal. It's very good. After I have finished eating my breakfast, I then proceed to lay on my couch for usually many, many, many long hours. And periodically, I will cough, causing me to question if I've finally contracted corona. Once I've accepted I'm probably fine, I start scrolling through TikTok, Instagram, watching YouTube, you know, etc, etc. Mostly just trying to keep myself entertained while also laying down for as long as possible. I don't know about you guys, but this part of my routine kind of feels like a necessity in order for me to function as a normal human being for the rest of the day. So I always make sure to include it. Now by this point, I've probably watched countless TikToks. So after watching those, I become inspired and attempt to make some myself. Although, all my TikToks are pretty dumb. But, oh my gosh, it is seriously so entertaining to make them. It's probably the best quarantine activity that I can recommend. If you aren't on TikTok yet, get TikTok. It's seriously the best. It's just a lot of laughs. And you can spend hours scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and never get bored. Shameless plug, go follow me on TikTok. Link in the description. After spending so much time on the internet, I then have to force myself to go outside and try and get some vitamin D or C or whatever it is that the sun gives you. Of course, afterwards, I use the sanitizer that my stepdad gave me. Shout out Ken! Because y'all, it's important to stay clean. 
course, I also wash my hands like a billion times a day throughout the day. And I think I've maybe gone through like 10 layers of skin, um, but at least I'm clean, so. By this point in the day, I'm usually in need of a snack, so I sit down with an applesauce go-go squeeze and a chocolate chip cookie. While I eat, I also FaceTime my friends and catch up with them. You know, what's going on in their quarantined lives, or maybe play some BuzzFeed quizzes together. Talking to my friends, even just over the phone, is what gets me through these long days. So, if you're bored at home, can't stand to see your family anymore, and you feel like you have nothing to do, text your friends and tell them to hop on FaceTime or Zoom to help the hours pass by faster. Trust me, it's worth it. Do it. After that, my dad tells me to make a grocery list, which means I get to leave the house for the first time in days. Yep, it's sad that the grocery store runs are now my new version of going out, but that's life. So my dad, my brother Max, and I start to pull on our shoes and our socks as we get ready to make the big journey to our local Albertsons. Of course, while we're there, we attempt to scour the picked over shelves for the things we need, but who knows what we'll come home with. Honestly, it's exhilarating. Of course, it's also important to stay super safe when you're going out on trips like this, so afterwards we make sure to slather on a bunch of hand sanitizer to kill all those pesky germs, because it's important to stay clean, y'all. After that, it's time for dinner. My food of choice is usually some sort of random combination of stuff that's in my pantry, but tonight, as you can see, I chose some microwavable dumplings. These have recently become my new obsession. I love the chicken and vegetable flavor. The pork and vegetable is good too, though. They are so good, and they only take two minutes to make in the microwave, which is just insane. I cannot believe it only takes that long. I also popped a chicken patty into the oven, though, because I knew six dumplings wouldn't be enough to satisfy my hunger and boredom. So, gotta make as much food as possible. These two things wouldn't normally be paired, but honestly, I wasn't mad at it. It was pretty good and well-balanced. Wow, I'm obviously getting a lot of nutrients. Um, I'm really healthy. Also, do not come for me for drinking a full glass of milk. Okay, I get it. It's weird. But honestly, only really cool people can drink that much milk. So, if you can't, you're not cool. That's, sorry, I don't make the rules. That's just how it is. After I've finished eating my dinner, I will then head down to the living room with my family to watch a movie or TV show. For tonight, we chose to pull up Disney Plus and watch The Mandalorian, which is very good. I highly recommend. You should watch it. But that usually concludes my day. I'll then change into my nighttime PJs, head up to my room, and watch stuff on my phone until probably 1am. Then I'll wake up and it'll all start over again, like a cruel, vicious cycle. So yeah, I'm going to throw it over to past Megan and she's going to conclude this video. It was nice seeing you guys. Bye! Well, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, like and subscribe. Uh, comment down below what your guys' quarantine lives have looked like. Subscribe! Bye!